Okay, hello, dear students. So uh, today I have come with yet another video. In the previous class, I discussed you about question tags. Yet that was not completed. So in the other video, I am going to complete that. But today in this video, uh, I am gonna uh, give you some ideas. I am gonna explain you about articles. So let's get started. Even this is also the first lesson that we read even in class 10, even in class 9 also. And one thing I will tell you, this uh, the grammar that we are reading in class, uh, means the one that I am discussing right now, this is useful not only for class 10, even this is useful for class 8 students as well as class 9 and even 10 students also. So now, <coughs> so A and the, so these three are the articles. And furthermore, if we categorize these three articles, then these two are said to be indefinite articles. And this is called definite article. Now, what is indefinite article and what is definite article that we need to know first? So, A and N, they are called indefinite article because that do not particularize a noun. If you say a man, it can refer to any man, a man who has a black complexion, a man who has white complexion, a man with the long hair, a man with a short hair, anyone. <laughs> but if we talk about the, that is said to be the definite article. Why it is definite? Because it figures out or it points out a particular one. Like if you say, a village, it refers to any village, any, any village. But here, if I say the village, then you have to particularize it like the village where I come from. So here we are talking about the village from where I have come from. So that's why this is particular. So the is definite article because it particularizes, it specifies a noun. Now after this, <coughs> let's separate this. First of all, I'll go with A and N. Now you know that first of all, uh, we need to understand that where we are supposed to use a and n the first thing you should know that you are allowed to use a or n before a noun that is singular in number and that should be countable like for example <coughs> if you say woman it is a noun countable in number so we can write a woman here but if we say women, then we cannot use neither A or N here. Why? Because women means it is plural. So one of the basic rules of inserting A or N is noun, countable noun, singular in number. So you are allowed to use A or N before a singular noun uh, or a noun that is singular in number. So that is what uh, that is what you need to understand. And the next thing is like for example if you say hot this is an adjective you cannot use a hot here this is incorrect in order to use a or n before an adjective what you need to know is it the adjective must be followed by a noun like for example if we say hot tea here also we cannot use an article because hot tea means tea is uncountable we cannot use before it but if you say cup of hot tea then we can say a cup of hot tea so what conclusion we get from here is you are not allowed to use a or n before an adjective c is beautiful we cannot say c is a beautiful that's wrong if you want to use a or n before an adjective that adjective must be followed by a noun like for example you can say c is a beautiful woman so this is how we use it if you use c is a beautiful this is incorrect you can say c is a beautiful woman because this adjective has been followed by a noun here so that's why the rule is you are allowed to use a or n before an adjective that is followed by a noun so so after you know these things now the another important thing is now we talk about let's separate this a and n first so now where to use this or and where to use this n 
we use a or o before the consonant sound the word having a consonant sound like man more sound comes here so that's why a man we say likewise orange we say or sound comes here that's why an orange we say you are allowed to use a before the noun having the consonant sound and you are allowed to use n before having the vowel sound but sometimes you may have some confusion here because you may find the letter the beginning of the letter vowel and the sound may be consonant like for example european for example e u r o p e a n european so what you need to understand is this letter means make sure that you are going to go after the sound you are not going to go after the letter although this is a vowel letter but this is not a i mean this is not a vowel sound because this is this word starts or this word begins with the with the consonant sound your sound comes here so european so that's why what we do all european we write like for example ntc tower we say just have a look at this this n is supposed to be a consonant letter but the sound here it possesses vowel so that's why we write here n ntc tower so this is the way so what you need to understand is you are allowed to use a uh, before consonant sound and you are allowed to use n before the vowel sound so make sure that sometime these letters may make you confusion so you have to be careful about the pronunciation of the words go after the pronunciation then you use like for example e w e this is not pronounced as e we we pronounce this as u your sound comes here so that's why all you we say so in this way like for example e u p e t i c u p e t i c mango this means perfectly right so this is an adjective followed by a noun so we write here your sound comes here so all you getting mango so this is the way so in a nutshell what we can understand here is before vowel sounds go with n and before the consonant sound go with a so i think rest of the other thing i'm going to explain you in the other video the rule of the i'll explain you in the other video so thank you very much stay safe thank you